Here I'm going to show you how to make a papaya paste, where you can apply it to your vegetables or even to your pastas or noodles in general, just to add a little more flavor. All right, let's get into it and I'll show you what you'll need to do. Welcome to Information Cuisine, my name is Nicholas Ganea. First, what you're going to need is sugar and papaya, diced papaya. Before we get started, I just need to show you how to cut it up first. First, you need to peel it, take the top and bottom off, slice it in half, and then take out the seeds. So make strips out of it, slice, 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 dice, boom, that's it. All right, so what you need to do next is this. So grab yourself a pot, add in the water, just up to the level of the papaya, so it can boil all around, and then add your sugar. Now turn it to high heat and bring to a boil. Once it's come to a boil, just add a fork in there to see that it goes all the way through. Once it's gone all the way through, pull it out and pour it into a blender. Once you put it into a blender, make sure it's nice and smooth. Pull it out. Don't put it in a pan, a skillet, because it's going to spit everywhere and it's going to burn you. You're going to be upset with yourself. Believe me, I went through this. Make sure that it goes back in the pot that you were just already using and then just reduce until it gets just a little bit. You can start to see the bottom just a bit. And that's about it. Once the papaya paste is done, pour into a container and then put it in the fridge. All right, that's it. Now, if you like what you saw, subscribe over here. And just a heads up, if you wanna use this for any recipes, click over here. These are some recipes that go with my papaya paste. And just remember, you can use this into your pastas or your vegetables just to coat it up, to give it a little more flavor. All right, thanks guys for watching and uh, have a good one. Peace.